بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم مرحبا جميعا انا عز الدين and this is learn Arabic with Z كيف حالكم today as we said we have the test for the level 1 before starting the test I wish you already revised well here we are not in school so I'm not going to evaluate you this test to evaluate yourself you are ready for level 2 or not if you found yourself missing few things in this test you can just go back to the videos and revise again I'll view the question after that I will show you the answer before showing the answer I will tell you that I will show the answer now so if you want to pause to have more time to think you can do that but try not to take too long and now let's get started first question do you remember what's the meaning of salt yes salt means sound now here in this question I want you to differentiate between Hamza and the, uh, the short and the long sound of a uh, or a uh, to recognize between the sawt tawil and sawt qasir sawt tawil means the long sound and sawt qasir means the short sound later we will have a video to explain adjectives but now I just want you to understand that the adjective in Arabic comes after the noun so sawt tawil long sound sawt qasir short sound now we have these two pictures and these two words so we have far and far far and far which one is sawt qasir and which one is sawt tawil next to we have mas'ala and musa'ada mas'ala and musa'ada i want you to find which one is sawt tawil and which one is sawt qasir think now i'll show you the answer so if you want to think you can pause the video mas'ala and far they are sawt qasir because they have hamza and far and musa'ada they are sawt tawil because they have a not hamza second question here we have these three letters which one of these letters will give us short sound sawt qasir think now pause the video if you want to think i will say the answer it is ra why because wa and ya they can come in vowels but ra only a normal letter and it's only a short sound only sawt qasir next question matching now we have these three pictures and i will show you three words i want you to match the word with the picture first word is muallim muallim this word is for which picture next word is qamar qamar Next we have سيارة سيارة So we have معلم and قمر and سيارة Which word or which picture? Think Now you can pause because I will say the answer So معلم is teacher سيارة is car قمر is a moon Next question is writing question I will give you four words I want you to write them so go and bring a pen and a paper because we will need to write now did you go oh you paused when you went okay let's continue now so i want you to write jaa jaa and i want you to write fahima fahima madrasa madrasa and waqafa waqafa i will repeat them again after that you can pause the video to write them because i will show you the answer so the first one is Jaa, next Fahima, then Madrasa, and Waqafa. Now the correct way to write them is Jaa, like this, Fahima, like this, Madrasa, in this way, and the last one is Waqafa, is like this. Now this is a pronouncing question. I want you to pause the video and pronounce these words. After that I will pronounce them but in this one you will evaluate yourself because I cannot evaluate you. Pause the video and read them. From now I will read them. First one is Ab Ab Second one is Sahm Sahm Third one is Qalam Qalam Then we have Sahih Sahih Then Mufakir Mufakir Last one is Masha 
مشا and notice that this one is a uh, it's not e because we don't have two dots next question is to choose the correct answer كيف نكتب how do we write a في وسط الكلمة a in the middle of the word now we have these three options I want you to choose did you choose because now I say the answer we will write a in the middle of the word في وسط الكلمة like this why because a is one of the blank letters so it will not be connected with the following letter next again كيف نكتب how do we write يا في بداية الكلمة يا في بداية الكلمة did you answer okay the correct answer is this we said ya so we should put two dots the middle one is a it's not ya last one is a and we said the middle one and the last one will not come في بداية الكلمة will not come at the starting of the words next again كيف نكتب how do we write this time كيف نكتب ط في وسط الكلمة ط in the middle of the word did you answer okay the correct answer is this ط in the middle of the word will be written like this because it's a normal letter we can connect it with the previous and the next letter the first one is ta in the end the third one is ta in the starting next question we have these six letters which letter is a prank letter think pause the video okay now we have these two letters wa and ra both are prank letters I didn't say it should be one letter only next question is pronouncing again now I want you to pronounce letters how do you pronounce this letter and this letter and this letter wa this letter I want you to pronounce them pause the video and pronounce now I will pronounce them first one is ta next ni then ju then ha so ta ni ju ha Next question, which one of these letters has the sound of da? I think this is an easy question. So now I'll answer, it is this one, da. Next, again the same, which letter of these has the sound of i? I will answer, this letter has the sound of i. Now this is a counting question and a matching question. You will match the word of the number with the numbers. So you will match the word which is saying one in Arabic with the picture of number one and number two and number three and number four like this. From now, if you want to read them alone, it's better and you can pause the video now because I will read them now and after that I will give you time to answer. First one is thalatha, thalatha. Then we have arba'a, arba'a. Then we have wahid. واحد then we have اثنان اثنان pause the video think and match them now I will answer the answer will be like this واحد means one اثنان means two ثلاثة means three as I'm saying in the starting of each video ثلاثة اثنان واحد three two one and the extra one is أربعة which means four so واحد one اثنان two ثلاثة ثري أربعة فور Next question In this question I will pronounce a word I want you to tell me you heard me pronouncing which letter of these letters in the word So the word is سالم سالم Now I want you to tell me which one of these letters was in the word سالم Now I will answer It is آ آ is there in the word سالم it's the second letter. Second word is حافلة. حافلة. Which letter of these letters is there in the word حافلة? The answer is letter ح. Letter ح is in the word حافلة and it's the first letter of the word حافلة. Last one in the word كتاب. Which letter of these is there in the word كتاب? كتاب. Now I will answer. Answer is ta and ba are in the word kitab. Again, I didn't tell you there is only one letter. Next, we have this question. You will connect the letters to make a word. Now we have these letters. I want you to connect them to make a word with the three letters in the right and the three letters in the left. So first thing, you will write the letter according to the position. After that, you will write the word as we used to do in the exercises. 
you can pause the video because now I will answer Zain the starting like this I in the middle Ra in the end and the word is Zaara is like this we don't connect any of the letters because all of them are rank letters the next word is Ha in the starting Ra in the middle Ba in the end and the word Haraba will be like this we didn't connect Ra and Ba because Ra is a prank letter now we will do the opposite in this exercise you have the word I want you to disconnect the letters to put them separated in their position and after that to write just the letter in the isolated form you can pause the video now because I will answer I in the starting Na in the middle I in the end I in the isolated form like this Na in the isolated form like this I in the isolated form like this now you understand that the first A with Hamza because it's short it's A A Ana Ana I cannot say Ana it's not like this this Ana the first A is short last A is long now the next word Samia sign the starting like this me in the middle A in the end then in the isolated form Sa Mi A next question now imagine that one day you met Batman and he was speaking Arabic I don't know why he was speaking Arabic but he was speaking Arabic <laughs> the first thing he told you Marhaban Kayfa Haluk so how will you reply he said Marhaban Kayfa Haluk you will answer with three things as you know you will reply to Marhaban and then you will reply to Kayfa Haluk then you will reverse Kayfa Haluk so we'll have three things to answer are you thinking you can pause the video because now I'll answer Okay, the answer is you will say marhaban, ana bi khair, wa anta. So your answer should contain these three answers. Marhaban, ana bi khair, wa anta. After that, Batman asked you, okay, I heard of something, it's called ta marbota. When do we pronounce ta marbota? Ta, and when do we pronounce it ha? You can pause the video because now I will answer. The answer is we pronounce it ta. If we have harakat and we pronounce it ha if we don't have harakat or we have sukun next question this man here asked you that he heard of something it's called tanween and he heard of something it's called al so where do we write al in the word and where do we write tanween in the word which one is fi bidayat al kalima and which one is fi nihayat al kalima of course this man also is speaking arabic so i want you to answer him in arabic did you answer? If you are still thinking, you can pause the video because I will answer now. Al is fi bidayat al kalima and tanween is fi nihayat al kalima. Al will only come fi bidayat al kalima if it is definite article and tanween will only come fi nihayat al kalima. Now we have matching again. I want you to match. Wait, wait, wait. Don't pause the video. I don't want you to match the picture on the top. I want you to match these pictures with the words. So which one is showing the pronoun ana? Which one is showing us the pronoun anta? Which one is showing us the pronoun here? Match the words with the pictures. Okay, pause the video because now I will show you the answer. The correct answer is like this. It was the same. I didn't change the places. Here is this. Anta is this. Ana is this. Each word is showing us the picture which is above the word. Ana, anta, here. These are the pronouns. You should know the meanings by now and the pictures to help you. Next question, we have these three pictures. The first picture is Kitab, Kitab, book. Second picture is Sayyara, Sayyara, car. Third picture is Walad, Walad, boy. I want you to say that these things belong to you. How can you say my Kitab, my car and my Walad? Think. Did you answer already? Now I will show you the answer. So if you didn't answer yet, you can pause the video. So we will add ye for all of them. Kitab will be kitabi. But sayyara will be sayyarati like this. Because we said ta marbuta will never come in the middle. We will change it to normal ta. So we will make it normal ta. It will be sayyarati. Sayyarati. Last one is waladi. Waladi. The funny thing in Arabic, Waladi is my boy and we can say my boy for my son we can say Waladi for my son also we have another word for my son but also if you are saying about someone is Waladi you are saying my boy which means my son in Arabic 
So if you have any pet, don't call it my boy because we will think that it is your son. <laughs> <coughs> now, next question. Next question and the last question. Actually, we don't have question here. I wanted to write a question about Al. I wanted to put some words and I ask you to write Al. Then I found that making the question is way harder than answering it because the rule of Al is very simple. You will just put Al in the starting of the word to make it definite. So any word I will put, you will just put Al in the starting. So I didn't make the question. I think it's simple for you. By this now we finished the first level. I hope you answered all of the questions in the test and all of them was correct. If there are any mistakes, I wish you will go back and revise at least your mistakes so you will know how to answer correctly again in a similar question. Now what I want to tell you here that this level is meant to be for alphabets and things related to alphabets as you will notice in the description of this video list. But the good thing, by the end of this level, you know how to introduce yourself, you know how to say hello in Arabic, you know how to count from 1 to 3, you know how to say how are you, how to reply to that, and how to reverse it. And you know, or at least you heard all the words which is written in the description box, and, and there are other words, I didn't write them in the description box, because they are not important for you now in this level, but I wanted you to hear them. And also I want to tell you that in the second level, which is next level, from the end of the fifth video, you will know how to make sentences. In the sixth video, you will make sentences yourself. The next video will be answers your questions and comments which you will write in the comments of this video in the Facebook or YouTube as you like. I will read all of them and I will answer them. I hope the questions will be about the channel and the course and about Arabic, not about me. Last thing I want to tell you is to subscribe and to activate the notifications to receive a notification when the next video comes and when we start the second level. And if you find this course useful, I hope if you will like and share this course with the others to share the benefit. And I will be waiting for your comments. Thank you. And I hope this level helped you in the alphabets and in everything related to alphabets. So by now you should know how to read and write Arabic alphabets and at least short words. In the coming levels, everything will be more simple as more as you go through the levels. And that's all for today. Looking forward to see you in the next video. See you soon. Ila liqa.